Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to this penultimate week of Shakespeare. Penultimate means second to last. Uh, so if you ever find yourself on Jeopardy and you're like, hmm, I think I should go for high points in the vocabulary category, maybe this will help you out. So there you go. Penultimate week of Shakespeare. So we have made it so far, guys. We have read so many fabulous plays. Uh, I hope that this class has given you a chance to kind of and maybe change your perception of Shakespeare or maybe see how Shakespeare can connect across time. I know he gets a bad rap because like the language is archaic, like some of it is really hard. Um, but the thing that I love about Shakespeare is that he, at least in my interpretation, tried really hard to like push the envelope of the time that he was in. He was like, no, women do have good ideas and can accomplish things in life. Um, or people of stereotyped groups don't necessarily have to fit into those stereotypes. Or, you know, all the other things that he calls into question and makes his audience reconsider, um, I think really holds a, a mirror up to the society of his time, but it also allows us to connect with similar human struggles across centuries, which is kind of cool. So yay for Shakespeare. I hope you guys have at least gotten some enjoyment out of the plays, the comedies, the histories, the tragedies, the gambit. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. So this week, as seems appropriate, we are ending our Shakespeare class with Shakespeare's last play that he wrote. So The Tempest is his crowning jewel. It is the last one that he published, the last one that he performed, and so it seems appropriate that is the last one that we study here. So we are going to be reading The Tempest, um, read about Shakespearean romance, because technically this play fits into the romance category. Um, I feel like it's kind of more of a drama, but technically, so says our textbook. It's a romance. So read about that. See how they categorize the play. Uh, then we are going to read the intro to The Tempest, get some context on it. Uh, in particular, this context talks kind of about Shakespeare's life and how he was kind of saying goodbye to the stage with this play. Um, there are a lot of links between the main character, the character of Prospero, uh, is his name, and Shakespeare himself. So there's a little bit of duality there that's kind of fun. Uh, so you're going to read that intro, then start reading the play, try and have the play done by Thursday as always. Watch the recorded lecture, we'll talk about the plot and the characters, we'll talk about some of the themes and motifs, we'll talk about the cultural criticism and the experts and what they say. Um, lots of good stuff here, especially uh, connecting Shakespeare to the character of Prospero, which I think is fun. Uh, then you can watch The Tempest. There are several editions of The Tempest, but uh, my favorite one has Helen Mirren playing Prospero, which was amazing. Um, that one you do have to rent, though. So there's also an equally fabulous Royal Shakespeare Company one in the modules I'll show you. Uh, and then we've got our Friday assignment, as always. We've got a little bonus uh, Sunday. And then it's finals week, guys. Like, that's crazy. We'll talk about finals week next week. Uh, but just as a little, like, heads up of what's happening, uh, there is a final discussion board. There is a quiz that kind of covers all the plays. Uh, it's not awful. Like, it's <laughs> if you've read the plays, you should be fine. Uh, and then we're going to do a brief reflection. And then you're done. That's it. And then we're done. And then if you're graduating, I'll see you on the 16th. I'll be wearing a very uncomfortable robe. It will be so fun. Um, so find me, wave to me. It'll be good. I'll be cheering you on. Uh, so that's where we're headed. Of course, we'll talk more about this stuff next week. Uh, but just as a heads up, that's what finals week looks like. We don't technically have like a final exam. It's just a little quiz um, where you just kind of tell me about the plays and some of the sonnets. It's It's not as hard as like, uh, the last quiz we had. So this one's easier. Yay. Uh, lots of good stuff coming there. So if we go into our class and we go into the modules tab, as with all of our fabulous plays, we've got our own folder for The Tempest. We'll scroll down there. Here's the recorded lecture. Here's the PowerPoint. Uh, here is the video production with Helen Mirren. Uh, really, really great. You can also get it at your local library. Like if you don't want to pay the $3.99 to rent it, 
um, you can get at your local library, which is lovely, like the Richland Library or the Pasco or the Kennewick Library, they all have copies of this. Uh, huge cast here. Uh, you've got Alfred Molina, you've got, uh, oh golly, who all is in this? It's, it's just amazing. There's Helen Mirren, uh, famous, famous people. So check it out, super fun, I promise promise is fun. Uh, and then we've got the Royal Shakespeare Company doing their thing, which is also great uh, because they're always just just gold. They're so good. So there's the free copy through our library. Uh, here's the No Fear Shakespeare translation if you want to kind of have more accessible text. Uh, and then this is a really cool analysis from the Folger Shakespeare Library where they take like a modern perspective on the Tempest. Um, which is really, really cool. So check that out. Uh, the assignment for this week is an essay assignment. Um, so you're going to need to read something called The Natural Man. Um, so watch this. This will help you write the essay. I kid you not. It will help so, 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 so much. So watch it. Do it. I'm even begging you in its title to please watch it. So like, please watch it. It will help you so much. Uh, and then here is the article you're going to be responding to, Caliban and the idea of the natural man. It's a philosophical idea that the article talks about uh, as he's seen in The Tempest. Here is the sample MLA format for your essay. And here is uh, another article about man and nature, power and control in The Tempest. You might want to use that in your essay as well. But really, the thing that's going to help you so much is this link. So follow this link. Uh, you will have to listen to me talk again. Yeah, I know, it's rough. But <laughs> um, but you also get to watch a cool PowerPoint with me and on it, so like it's not all bad. Uh, and that will help you write the essay, I promise. It's going to be a very effective use of your time. So check it out, it'll help you. Do it, do it, peer pressure, do it. Uh, and that's what we're gonna be doing this week. You're gonna be enjoying The Tempest. You're going to be writing uh, an essay about the Tempest, particularly the character of Caliban, as he contrasts with like Prospero or any of the other like more civilized characters. Um, and then, yeah, watch the video and then write the essay. It'll be fun. And we do get to have like some actual fun. Essay writing, super fun, obviously. Um, but if you want to earn some extra credit, you're getting to the end of the quarter and you're like, hmm, I would like some extra credit. Here's a way to earn extra credit. This is not required. Only do it if you want extra credit. Uh, this is due on Sunday. Uh, if you want to earn extra credit, uh, I want you to pick one of the plays that we've read, and I want you to create a comic book summary of the play. I have included an example for you. This is a summary of the play Richard II, uh, which is one of the histories I did not make you read, uh, mostly because it's pretty boring. It's not boring. It's a Shakespeare play. It's amazing, but like, it's not as good as... Uh, Henry or any of the other histories. So <laughs> I figured you probably hadn't read it, so I wasn't like doing any spoiler alerts if I showed you this. Uh, so make your own comic strip that summarizes one of the plays that you have done this quarter. It'll be super fun if you want extra credit. Totally optional. All right, that's what we're doing this week. Hopefully you guys have a lot of fun with The Tempest. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help.